Hello there. I know I don't really show off my collection much, uh, you know, my retro games. Uh, the main reason really is because I haven't got much space in my house at the moment. So um, what I've been doing is I've been storing it in the shed while I make some space, you know, to put it up so I'm going to show you the video. Um, unfortunately, I went in there over the weekend and found out the whole place has been flooded. I've actually lost most of my game collection. Uh, I'll have a, show you a quick look how bad it is. Um, yeah, basically I went in there. Completely, completely, yeah, two thirds of the place was flooded. I mean, I'm trying to side with some of it, some of my old Nintendo 64 games. And have a look at that, and look, that's basically what's left in most of the boxes. And uh, just one giant cardboard mess. Um, the car, I, mean, I tried to, I, the boxes were a bit better, better condition than that, but I just ripped them out of park, just rip out the cartridges, hoping if they're any goods. But I've, uh, have a look at this, look, there's just completely rusted through absolutely terrible so essentially I've lost essentially I've lost nearly all my collection of uh, games and that I mean I got a, I managed to rescue a couple from the parts where they weren't leaking I mean I got yes from a leaky roof uh, that's my collection of Quake and that uh, but it's mostly my um it's mostly my Nintendo 64 and uh, Assassin games that have completely been destroyed um, I'll show you a uh, I've been putting them out over here at the moment if you can have a look, uh, because we haven't quite the hot weather at the moment, uh, I'm gonna. I've just decided to put, put them on the lawn and that. So hopefully they'll dry out some of them. Uh, my copy of uh, Joanna Lumley Rugby. Um, that's what's left of it. Uh, this grey stuff is actually what's left of the instruction book. It's just gone completely to pulp. I mean, luckily the disc is all right, but you know, essentially it's ruined. Uh, some of the other boxes haven't fared too well. That's a copy of Lemmings 2 down here. Uh, so yeah, luckily the cart disc isn't the cartridge isn't in there, but most of the papers right away. Um, had a cup. Oh, there you go over here. Really gutted about this one. Copy of Torico goes about forty quid on eBay, and it's just completely destroyed. Fortunately, I, mean, I know I'm just being a complete idiot. I mean putting stuff in the in the shed what would you expect but I think it's just a combination of bad luck and that and just have one leaky place out of the whole shed and it had to be under that and it's just completely rotted everything away um, so some of the other stuff on the plus side uh, most of my uh, most of the consoles were not affected uh, apart from my Saturn it's covered in all this orange stuff like rust or something but I, sh but I will show you around here basically I noticed the shed was completely soaking wet and I just threw everything out here you can see what's remaining in that and I just yeah like I said I threw everything out here luckily the sun's over the weekends dried most of it so it's because all the hot weather we've had but a lot of it is actually ruined really oh I'll, I'll show you what it is in the shed if I can get over there oh there's a copy of Primal Rage down there if you can see Another thing, look, look, the label's completely rotted through. So, uh, Super Nintendo going yellow. The hair is up under there, so hopefully it won't show too bad. But, uh, yeah, basically, because I'm in a tin shed, something was on top. Juice my father's infinite wisdom, putting a motorbike engine up there. It's caused a dent in it, caused a leak. I've patched up with a bit of duct tape. But, um, hopefully, that will hold now. Uh, on the plus, like, like I said, on the plus side, of my consoles over here, uh, most of them have actually remained intact, and that old box and that all nice. But um, unfortunately, yes, I have lost most of my uh, gaming collection. Well, most of my Nintendo 64, Mega Drive, and Saturn collection. So I'm a bit utterly gutted about that. So there you go. So one of the life lessons: if you're going to store games, don't put them in the shed. Uh, so yes. Thank you very much. Goodbye.